Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa Another. On our last episode, we did the first part of the trial for chapter three. And it was much shorter than the past two chapters uh, because it only took one episode and we're already at part two, which means today we will probably be getting to the execution and all that. Uh, and we did point out it was Uihara, which is what I suspected. Um, curious to know his motivation, because um, he is a priest and priests are kind of like, not killers, so it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to get to his uh, breakdown that I know is coming because it's chapter three. They always have one. So uh, let's jump into it. I'm very excited. Kinji Uihara, was it you? Wait a minute, Uihara? This guy? Can you elaborate why it is me? I'm not entirely convinced yet, but according to Kinjo, the killer said contradictory things. That alibi, if you are the one who said contradictions with your words without an alibi, it's only you, Uihara. Contradictory words? When did Uihara can say those? Do you guys remember what Uihara said moments ago? He said after Uihara was attacked by the criminal in the middle of the night, the cell phone that he had before then disappeared. However, this statement doesn't make sense. Doesn't it make sense? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not convinced about this, it's just speculation, but I couldn't think of anything else other than this as contradictory words. I'll explain so everyone can understand. First, it was 8.40 p.m. yesterday that the culprit killed Yamaguchi, right? If that's the case, then the culprit would have started destroying evidence, such as hiding the spills or wiping blood. And at this point, Inori must have been held in the hands of the culprit as well. Do you guys remember? Inori's white coat was used for wiping the blood of Yamaguchi. Looking at this, it would be no exaggeration to say that Inori and Yamaguchi were both aimed at the same time. And everyone know, knew how Inori died. Inori died from a remote murder using a mobile phone's alarm. She was killed in a thoroughly planned crime. Just by seeing that they had already removed the white coat and used it to wipe Yamaguchi's blood, it was a bold move that was possible because everything was planned and prepared. To summarize this, they killed Yamaguchi first with full preparation, brought Inori into the trick just as planned. It must be said that everything was going according to their plan, all the preparations were completed since the beginning of the time when they were attacked. Otherwise, they would have gambled on remaining risks. Indeed, after all those preparations... But then what? What's weird about that? Don't you realize? Uihara said that the cell phone was stolen in the middle of the night. Could the perpetrator who acted so thoroughly and deliberately carry out such a bold action with the mobile phone not in hand? Also, um, again, Akane's testimony she one didn't see him too remember she said the door was shut when she went around that time the phone would already have to be in the room ha uh wait a moment as marta said at the time of the killing in ori that way in a taking from yesterday at night it must be said that they already devised a trick using the mobile phone And they didn't have a cell phone in hand. You would think an act first and then attack Uihara without knowing whether or not it will succeed and take their cell phone. However, the cell phone was in Uihara's possession since he found it. So how did the killer steal the phone from Uihara? It was either a pre-raid or it was never done in the first place. The answer to this question is very simple. If you were Uihara, you would have been able to execute the plan without any difficulty. Oh, Yara, did something like this? Y you're the culprit who killed Anori and Yamaguchi? Oh, it's coming. Huh. Oh, God! That jump scared me. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, what now? What's it funny? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I like this sprite too. No, I apologize, but isn't that a little funny? I am a murderer who believes in God and tells the teachings of the Father. This is outrageous. 
So Uihara Kim isn't the killer. He is not, right? Of course I am not the culprit. If I say that, would you believe me? Huh? According to your reasoning so far, I'm the only one who meets the conditions of being the culprit. But I can't believe you guys just by saying that I'm the culprit in such a situation. Well, I'm 99.99% certain that you are the culprit. Then I can prove myself with the remaining 0.01%. He's like the 0.01% of germs you can't kill with Purell. What? I said according to your reasoning. Which means, if your reasoning is wrong, I will not become the culprit either. Are you saying you have room to argue with? <sighs> of course. Oh, I really like that sprite. Something is wrong with me, I think. From now on, let me prove my innocence by showing that your reasoning is wrong. I think I was right when I said maybe he's not funny and maybe he is like a freaking psycho. Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know. Are you prepared? Oh! I'm gonna use your own ability against you right now, Uihara. You're gonna regret hitting out with me. Let's go. The reason you point me to is the culprit is because I don't have an alibi at the time of the crime and at night time. And the contradictory words about the cell phone, correct? There's nothing I can say about an alibi. But it's nothing but an assertion that you say that I'm the culprit with just that. So let me show you why it's not strange at all if I had my phone stolen that night. Money locker. Mac uh, testimony library. The reason is well put. But is it really the right answer? Don't you know the prince is wrong? For example, would Yamaguchi really be dead at 8.40 in the evening? Yeah, we just proved it, buddy. That was all over already. Yamaguchi is irrelevant because the reason why you're suspected is because by evening, Inori was already captured. It doesn't make any sense that the cell phone was removed after nighttime. Would the killer who worked so much act rashly without preparation? Well, I'm talking about before that. Whether Yamaguchi or Inori were caught at 8 in the evening means I was, it was the next morning we found the body. The body was left until then, wouldn't it have been possible to find it? Even at 8.40 in the evening, a lot of something remained at night. Does that make sense that no one goes to the library the art room the morning after? So this is what Uihara was saying. In other words, if Yamaguchi died at 8.40pm and Inori was captured, someone could have found the body until the morning after. He's not entirely mistaken. No matter how late the night was, three of them, Mekur, Kinjo, and Uihara, decided not to follow the rules, so they were able to walk freely. Even if they were attacked because of this, according to their testimony, they said they were attacked at night. At 8.40pm, more than one hour remained until the nighttime officially began. Does it make sense that no other person other than Kinjo and Makaru couldn't find Yamaguchi or Inori? No, you don't have to think too much about the time of death. This is Uihara's argument to escape doubt somehow. If they could put a body somewhere without being noticed by anyone before the attack... I didn't really get that one. I I looked it up because I didn't want to die. Like chapter two, when I died twice. You left the corpse alone? Do you really believe that? Do you have any, do you have any evidence to deny this? Of course. Remember the locker where Mekari was kept inside? Inside the locker, it was covered in blood. Mekari did not bleed, so what's the reason for this? And as Mekuru said earlier, she said the method they used is chloroform, so they didn't bleed from an injury. That's the case. Someone else was in there and stuck inside. Ooh, dropping blood. Yamaguchi was in the locker? That's right, Yamaguchi's corpse must have been in the locker when he died recently, and then the killer stunned Mekuru and Kinjo, the only eyes who wandered around at nighttime. So, so basically, 
he shoved, he killed Yamaguchi, shoved him in a locker, and then knocked the other two out. Swapped spots with Mekaru and Yamaguchi, and that's why she was in there? That's it. Then, after attacking Mekaru, they moved Yamaguchi's body to the library and put Mekaru in his place, right? TV Prasari, so they stuck Mekaru ahead of me and stunned her. They moved the corpse to the library, which made me off guard. This is the order in which they were attacked, capturing Inori, killing Yamaguchi, and stuns Mekari. Last step, it was aimed at me. So what do you think now, Uihara? The reasoning we made in front of us has fundamentally no issues. No matter what excuses you try to argue, it will be the same. It's really hard to believe it, but if you're the real culprit, don't drag this out and confess. Doubting any more like this is something like that I don't want to do anymore. I just said, it's unbelievable that this guy's the culprit. A quiet, devout believer of God becoming a murderer that killed two people? There's no evidence, no excuse for reasoning about his usual actions or being a Christian. You just have to focus on picking out one person who can only be seen as the culprit. So then, what are you going to do now, murderer? Uihara? Yes, I apologize, I was wrong. Are you admitting it? No, I doubted your reasoning. But the time when Yamaguchi died and the time difference tricks seem to all be correct. So according to that reasoning, Uihara is the only one who remains as the culprit? Definitely not. Everyone has alibis except for me, Mekaru, and Kinjo. But because I'm the one who kept the cell phone, I'm being mistaken for the culprit. What do you mean by mistaken? You're, you are the culprit. There's nothing to doubt and you have nothing else to say. Are you still unaware of all the con conditions that can be committed when all of them are pointing at you? I'm aware that I'm the only one who meets the criminal's conditions. Among the living people, that is. What? This guy, how long are you going to force this? What is being forced here is that I'm the culprit, but I am not. But because you guys are so driven by this, it's no wonder that you're trying desperately to get me to accept these charges, aren't you? If that's the case. I have to point to myself being innocent as the blackened and everyone will die together. So be stubborn like that? So you're not the culprit, is that it? <laughs> you fool! You're trying to trick us like that! You can't be sure of that. I'm not convinced that we are the culprit at all. You guys are stupid. What? What did you just say? All the evidence points to Uihara as the culprit, and all the tricks are undeniable. Why is Uihara still fighting? Is there something to make any conclusive objection? No, there still remains one path to make you consider me not being the culprit. I hope after you hear this, it will change your mind. Okay. Let's go! Tyrus test only that's gonna be it. It's gonna be it. I've been, I've been talking about that for like, ever. Among the living people? What do you mean? Think carefully. There must have been someone who could commit the crime besides me. For example, Kanata Inori, I mean. Oh yeah, come on, dude. Inori is dead, though. Why did the culprit kill two people in the first place? Doesn't that feel odd? This is my idea. Inori kills Yamaguchi and then she kills herself. She's tied up. Stupid. Do you really think that makes sense? Oh, it doesn't make sense. Nora is also capable of committing a series of crimes. You would know the best. Obviously, there's no alibi, but... In order to take yourself and die by dropping a cell phone... Suicide doesn't seem possible. And... Nora's not the culprit? No! In other words, it's like this. According to my reasonings, Nora killed Yamaguchi at 8.40. After hiding Yamaguchi in the locker, she went through the hallways at night time. I was ambushed and attacked after the other victim. For the last act, she went to the science lab she had set up, tied herself up, and waited for the alarm to go off. Uihara claims that it was Inori who killed Yamaguchi. Inori, who had disappeared since yesterday night, is possible to commit the crime. But is Anori really the culprit? After killing Yamaguchi, did she also commit suicide? This can't be true. The conclusive evidence? 
It makes an organ able to commit this act. That's definitely something someone told me. Oh yeah, the, the testimony. Venor is the culprit, finishing everything and then going to the end with their death. There seems to be room for objection in there. Think carefully. I know it. I know the answer. I know it. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. We heard that's wrong. Your rebuttal is full of contradictions. Is it Maida? Why is that? All of you were in the dormitory at night time, and attacking Kinjo, Makuru, and me would not have been impossible for Inori at all. As you say, Inori killed Yamaguchi, attacked Makuru, Kinjo, and Uyar, finished all the work, including the blood transfusion packs, and finally went to the science lab to prepare to commit suicide, right? Yes. But no one saw it, which means you can't deny Inori's crime. There are no means. Am I correct? No, they saw it. The reason why Inori can't be the culprit is because someone saw it. What? Tyra, you must have been around that time, right? By the science room just before nighttime yesterday, you said the door didn't open. Huh? Oh, yes, the door didn't open. It's weird, right? According to Uihara's words, Inori at that time, after moving Yamaguchi's corpse and attacking Kinjo, etc. How would she even move Yamaguchi? She's like 4'11". <laughs> I don't think she's that strong. You need to be prepared. But why didn't the science lab door open? That's right, the answer will come out eventually. Because I know where it was already tied up in the science lab at that time. Ah, but of course it would be impossible to open the door from the outside if you wanted to walk through the entrance. If Inori was committing a crime from outside at the time, the science lab's already been clasped. It would be a huge contradiction. How did he get out of there, though? Wait a minute. What do you think, Uihara? Can you still say that Nori can commit crimes? Wait and listen. Just because the science lab was locked doesn't mean it was locked with a latch. When Tyra tried to enter, the door could have been locked with the lock function attached to the door itself. Am hey, I? But then what about this? As a result of my investigation, I found out that the door to the science lab did not have a lock function. There's no space to apply a key lock in the first place. I love it, Uihara Kinji. Now, if the rebuttal is possible, now confess in good faith. Ugh. Uihara, please stop and admit it already. Is it coming? Is he having his breakdown? Huh. Oh my god! Jump scared again! I'm literally gonna title this episode, like, Uihara jump scares me or something, because that is- that is two for- two times now. I don't know how to do that laugh. I would if I was home alone, but there's other people here. I, I can't. Ga ha ha ha. Eh, Uihara. Why? Why are you? I thought I was lucky that I defeated Surugi Kinjo and Mekuru, right? But why? Why can trash without hell and like you can drive me to this point? Uihara, you know, your character collapsed. Uh, Uihara, calm down a little. Shut up, you bitches! This is trash. This bitch broke down my plan simply because you tried to open the damned door to the science lab. Uh huh. It's all over. I just tell you loud and clear. It doesn't matter if it's confession, right? Say, so you came down in the end from a mental breakdown. It's pathetic. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm still here. Wait. Wait and see. That's you. Yes. That's it. That's it. I still need proof. There's no evidence. I'm the culprit. Show me the evidence. Oh, come on now. You're the only one who doesn't have an alibi, right? Shut up, you ex worth bastard. Do you want to get stuck in the ground from head to toe, huh? Uh, well, I need to suddenly turn into such a vile criminal. Not like a criminal, but he is a criminal. So you won't admit it, even though you are the only one who could do this. Just ignore him and butt, would you? If you look at what Uwe Harja said, what's the point of incapacitating Kinjo and Makaru? At this... And this is almost like a confession, right? I'll kill you. I'm gonna kill the bastards! We're going to vote right now, treating me as a criminal without evidence at all. And you're like thinking this is all done. Uh, what do we do? 
Oh, Ihara, if I show you the evidence, are you going to finally admit it? <laughs> oh, I'll admit it. If there's evidence like that. Not speculative remarks or alibi blanks. Real, physical evidence, you bastard. There might be. What? Well, I already know this, but it's only going to be slower if you let him catch the holes with poor evidence. Unfortunately, I can't help you here. Because I have nothing more to come up with. Will you be okay? Yes, it's okay. Uihara, who's not sane, is just going to forcefully scream against the opponent. I'll make sure to present the proof correctly. And then he will finally admit it. Don't joke around, Yuki Marda. You're just a lucky and competent human being. Uihara, from now on, I'll show you conclusive evidence that you are the culprit of the case. It may be a little sloppy, but if my predictions are correct, you will have no other choice but to admit it. <laughs> Is this fun to you? Do it then. Do whatever you want. If it's evidence or unreasonableness, I'll make you a criminal and execute you myself. For making fun of an innocent person. Uihara is certainly not sane right now. About this evidence, I can't say for sure, but I do believe, not only in me, but I believe in my friends too. Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna die. This is my worst minigame. And apparently there is a skill to help you with it that you can get from the other machine and I could not find it because I didn't know which one it was because it was all in Korean. So I'm freaking screwed, okay. Cleanse thy memory, <laughs> let's exercise this devil. Fine. I have three hearts. He is freaking losing it. Okay. No! No! It's this stupid crosshair. This is like making it impossible. I keep just wanting me to try on sticky keys. Come on. I can't move the crosshair that fast. I can't freaking do it! This is literally impossible. I'm gonna die because of this stupid minigame. Okay. Yeah. I'm- I'm- I'm doing my freaking best, but the crosser literally does not move that fast. I don't know how to beat this! This is literally impossible! I don't know how to beat this. Yeah, I'm dying. I am trying so freaking hard. I hate this minigame. I hate it. I'm literally gonna cry. <laughs> statements statements mm -hmm. oh my god I literally died so many times doing that I really dislike that game. That's probably the worst part of this entire thing, is that mini game. <sighs> I'm just like really mad right now, honestly. Because I died doing that. And I. Ugh, my fingers hurt. Ooh, unfortunately for you, there's already clear evidence of your crime. You can only be said to be the culprit with this conclusive physical evidence. What? <laughs> There's nothing like that. What is that, Mitocan? That's... unfortunately, I do not know. <sighs> I stopped joking around. However, Mekaru knows this. Mekaru? Hold on, where does this confirmation come from? You aren't trying to rely on my reasoning, are you? Mekaru, you told me, didn't you? No matter what happens, you have an insurance to cover your life. But the aspect of the trial remains unsolved, and there's a corner with no answer, you will show us the last piece of evidence. Insurance? Maybe there's something only that woman knows. 
It's a little frustrating, but our Navy is the same. I'll stay out of this. It's probably what's ever on the hand that she felt. Wait a minute. I did in fact say that to the incompetent, but it's not like that. The killer's already cornered and running crazy, right? What do you think I'm going to let you know? This woman doesn't even want to cooperate in this situation. Look at us, Mekuru. We're believing in you. <laughs> so, are you finished then? It's over. After all, my just been bluffing and throwing unfounded accusations. Your proof is Mekuru that doesn't even want to cooperate. This is just great. She knows nothing. There's no physical evidence that I'm the culprit. Me? Not know anything? Uh oh. Huh? Mekuru, are you angry? That nasty pig killer. Where do you want your funeral? Can you tell me? Are you gonna try and provoke him at this stage? Fine, I'll write your will then. It doesn't matter if I vote for Kinji Uihara and end the trial as it is, but if I do, it feels like I'm just being beaten here. Whatever are you talking about? Maybe all you, you all remember it then. When I was investigating after the incident, I asked all of you to show me your right hand. Yeah, you... Huh? To everyone? You're dead, but I didn't know the meaning of it. You! You did that strange act to all of us? Wait, I didn't know about this. You didn't do that to me, right? You woke up late. I didn't have a chance to do it. Well, there are some mysteries that were solved before that. After asking for my right hand to show, she only tired as of wrapping my right hand. Was there something about that? I was surprised. I wasn't really sure what it was. Well, I didn't think she was that kind of person. But what's up with that? The reason I did that was to check the back of your right hand. The reason I wrapped it with my hand was because I needed darkness. Darkness? If you're wondering what I'm talking about, why don't you all give it a try? Look at the dark side by covering the back of your right hand. It's all clear here. Even if you ask me to wrap it up, I just see the back of my hand. What do you expect to see? I definitely told you to try it, everyone. Why are you staying still, Kinji Uihara? Uihara? Hey, stay still, you. Let me go! Go away! Hey, what the hell is this on the back of your hand? I don't know! I don't know anything! Oh, please, you must know. What you've got there is luminous paint. Luminous paint? I was... marked by you. Don't joke around! You and I never met at the time of the crime. There wouldn't have been a time to be marked like this. Oh my, what you... are you saying that? You definitely met with me, right? When you put me to sleep with chloroform? I don't know what you're talking about. So it seems you think I'm the culprit, is that it? And even if that were the case, is it obvious that the killer attacked you? But here you're just claiming that you've used luminous paint on it in my hand just because that's your own opinion. I'm sorry, Mecker, but this isn't possible without knowing in advance that you'll be attacked. This is why you guys are so pathetic. Did you think I wasn't prepared for anything and going as usual every night? But you. No way. The one who put this luminous paint was you. It was you? That's right. Do you guys think I'm stupid enough that I'll trust you guys when I don't know the outcome? Before Marky Kyoko died, I was always prepared for anything. Well, besides the glowing paint, I've prepared other tricks. I'm a woman and I have no idea who and when someone will come at me. So I decided to use glowing paint only in the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario? Are you saying even if you die due to the glowing paint, we can find out who did it? Is that what you mean? Well, by the way, my first selection of words, it just feels a little erratic. Fortunately, I only fainted this time. But my life was in danger. Should I say that I was lucky? I was trying to use luminous paint for the purpose of something else, like a dying message, but I can live like this and drive off the killer's smug face with one sentence. But even so, at some point, I could have... You're an idiot, aren't you? If you're curious, you better think about which hand you put chloroform in my mouth. Ugh. In other words, Mekuru said that the killer put his hand on her mouth, meaning you apply the glowing paint before fainting? 
just before you lost consciousness? Makaru, what a scary person. More like a boss ass bitch. What do you think? Something? Oh, I skipped it. I, I didn't mean to. Oh, hi, not yet. All she said is just lies because I just rubbed this glowing paint by myself yesterday. It has nothing to do with this now. This woman is the culprit. You just said something you don't know about with your own mouth just a few moments ago. What are you talking about? Don't make me laugh. Don't joke around. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit, okay? Oyara, stop it now. It's already over. Don't make me laugh. Ugh. Uh. Ugh. Ah. There's no one on your side already, Oyara. Speaking any more than this, it's nothing more than a futile effort. If you're still not willing to admit it, I'll organize the case from the beginning and let you admit. You have no choice but to admit it. I remember how to do this. This is the only minigame I like. <laughs> Climax inference starts. That'd be awesome if my cursor. Yep, see, you can see that, that panel right there. That's him faking the injury like I called literally forever ago. I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself for my, um, my terrible skills. She was electrocuted before we opened it, so... No? Yes, she was. They heard her be electrocuted. That's... that doesn't make sense. Like, is this just a body then? No, she was electrocuted and then they opened the door. That's 100% what happened. I think this is a translation error. Okay, whatever. First, the start of the case begins when the criminal attacks Yamaguchi and Inori. I don't know why the two were targeted by the culprits. The killer must have taken Yamaguchi by some means first. Then they took him to the art room and sliced Yamaguchi's neck. The time this took place was 8.40, which was also listed in the Monokuma file. However, this was not at 8.40am, it was last night at 8.40pm. In other words, the killer committed a bold crime while we were still roaming around the place. Afterwards, the killer put the corpse in a locker of the art room to hide Yamaguchi's body. The culprit, who succeeded in killing Yamaguchi, immediately focused his efforts on dealing with the crime scene. They opened up the tarp that prevents blood from splattering, cleaned up the murder weapon, used as the intake, and wiped the blood with Inori's white coat that had been removed beforehand. However, while using the tarp, a small hole was left due to the killer's mistake, and the white coat was not properly erased. Thanks to this, it cleared a lot of circumstances surrounding the methods of disposal. Anyway, as the art room where Yamaguchi was killed became clean, this time they devised a trick to kill a second victim, Inori. That's right. It involves the phone and stun gun. It was a method of electrocuting by drowning in the water in a stun gun at a predetermined time, using the vibration function. To do this, the killer went to the science lab and first fixed Inori's whole body with tape to keep them from moving. And the water from the sink in the science lab was turned to the maximum capacity. After a few hours in that state, the science lab was overflowing with water like a bathhouse. There's one more thing. The killer connected the phone to the stun gun and placed it at an angle as if it were to fall from the desk. And they set the phone alarm to 8.30 a.m. When this happens, the alarm turns on the next morning and the phone makes a vibration movement in minutes. And then the phone starts to fall off along with the stun gun because of the vibration. When everything was set in stone, the killer locked the door with a latch so no one could interfere with the tricks and ar arranged in the lab. After everything was done, the killer probably thought, most of them, including me, won't come out of their private rooms. Because it was nighttime hours, but the problem was that Kinchen Mekuru went around openly at nighttime. As long as they thought that the time when the crime was done was in the morning and the trick that everything was set in advance was discovered in the middle of the night, everything would be over for them. So the killer thought to keep Kinchen Mekuru from moving until the morning after. Hmm. 
First, the killer attacked Mekuru with chloroform and brought her into the art room. They took out Yamaguchi's body that had been in the locker until then and put Mekuru inside instead. Whoa. And then, Yamaguchi's body was used as bait to lure Kinjo. The killer put Yamaguchi's corpse in the library, made some extra work to make Kinjo discover the body, and then attacked Kinjo from behind in a vigilant gap. When Kinjo and Makaru were successfully disabled and no one could interfere, the killer took a breather and started one last final act. Once the morning was near, the killer went to the infirmary and packed a large amount of blood transfusion bags. And spread them in Yamaguchi's body to make it look like it just died and the bleeding was fresh. And then they sprinkled a certain amount of blood on themselves as if to make it look like they were ambushed by the killer. That's the thing I called. In the morning after last night of so many things happening at once, we noticed that a few people were missing, so we moved to search for them in each room of the school. Then we met with the killer who was lying down near the stairs after we divided into two groups. We decided to search the second and third floors. Bum bum! And the search in the second floor found the fallen Kinjo. The search on the third floor found a corrupt Mekuru. Afterwards, when a member of the third floor checks for an abnormality in the science lab and tries to open the door with a mobile phone and the stun gun and hit the water at the killer's preset time, falling. into the water and killing Inori on the spot. Soon after, we managed to open the door to the science lab. At a timing that couldn't be more ideal for the killer, Inori's body and Yamaguchi's body were found almost simultaneously. The one who had done this formidable job, who killed two people overnight plus injured two people. The identity of this heinous and cruel criminal. It was you. It's so sad, I was his first friend, remember? I was your first friend. I did your free time events. It's none other than you, Kenji Uihara, the ultimate priest. Yeah, it would be the Catholic that committed murder. Let's be real. I'm allowed to make these jokes. I had to go to Catholic school as a kid. <laughs> There's no place to run anymore, Uihara. Hmm. Uh, Uihara? Excellent, as Marta said, no matter how badly it was, this was it. It seems this was my limit. Why well, all of a sudden he came back to normal? Oh, as he must have been acting like hot to know. It means, did you just admit it, that you are the culprit? Yeah, I am. I am the culprit. But why? What was the motive? Oh boy, I didn't get any coins once again because of that really dumb um, panic talk action thing that, uh, I mean, I don't really care. When am I ever going to go to the mono mono machine? You filled more than once, you didn't earn anything. It's just like... <sighs> that that game is really, really difficult because my um, arrow cues can't move as fast as the thing pops up. It's just... Yeah, I need the ability, but I don't know where it is. So I'm literally screwed every time I do that, and it makes me want to cry. Oh no, I've been watching everything, it seems. It's okay to say that you made a decision at this point. This time, no matter how much I play the role of the judge, it's really sad because I seem to have been too much of a dead weight. And the other thing about like the panic talk action thing, it's like, it really brings me down just how difficult it is and how much I struggle with it. Like, it just makes the whole mood and enjoyability of the trial just like, very much bad. I don't enjoy doing trials because I dread doing that particular um, mini game. I think it's um, it's impossible. It's it's impossible. <laughs> you, you cannot expect to get it first try or second try, honestly. The only one I did okay on was Mitch and I still think it took me more than once. I don't really remember. Yeah, it just sours. It, it sours everything. Just like having to do that and it being really hard. 
Hi everybody, this is Anchor. It's a full time of Anchor. How's this happening, you guys? Well, now I have to vote with the switch in front of you. The result of this voting, who will become the black end, and will your answer be the correct one or the wrong one? Now, what's gonna be? By the way, I did it again! It freaking keeps doing this thing where it just skips text without me hitting anything. I did it last episode too. I'm getting really mad at this game. Okay. I hit nothing and just randomly skipped it. Oh no, he's guilty. Oh no. I'm like so mad right now, actually. <sighs> Whatever. Monica usually just is nonsense, so I'm sure it wasn't that important. Oh yes, as for the results of your vote, your choice was... I have a correct answer, the identity of the Blacken who killed two people. Uh, Miss Inori and Yamaguchi Chikun was... Kenji Uehara. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad to see him go, though. I actually really liked his character. Oh, what is it? Someone thought I was gonna say those lines before voting. At uh, Uehara can? For the second half of the trial. We've been almost certain of it, I guess. Why did you kill them? I'm sorry. You're sorry. There's no excuse. Is that all you have to say after killing someone? Plus killing to our group. Do you know that makes you a serial killer? Well, are you very agitated? Are you in back a little while ago, Lihara? Why did you suddenly become so quiet? I only thought that more talk would delay the ine inevitable. I had a reason to live and survive this trial, even if I had to do that soon. Uh, that's right. If we found out that you did the murder, you are going to die. He already knew that the moment he was caught. No, that's not the reason I did it. That's not it? Your motive. Is there something else? Motive. He got murdered to get out and escape. Tamori was the secret note. Does that mean the original motive of all these events is also the same this time? Wasn't the motive this time the thing that you desperately wanted in that video? And that you wished for? You mean you had a wish you wanted to get out by killing two people? Ron, there are a few things I must correct you on before that. You're right about everything. The plan and killings are correct, but... I didn't mean to kill two people from the start. Huh? You may look at this as an excuse, but only that person's death will become colorless, so let me speak. Maida, your reasoning is wrong. The only person I was trying to kill was Conte Nori. You did it in the end. It was too late and also too clumsy to plan serial killings. Your execution had a sense of improvisation. First, according to the rules of the school, serial killing would be more damning than profitable for the culprit. So, what? You're trying to kill one person to make your sin lighter? I mentioned that this was not meant to be an excuse, but you were saying that it is one. However, I have something to say. I'd appreciate if you listened quietly. Funny you'd say such a thing. Do you think I'm going to listen to a killer's request? Sarugi, I just want to know why he did it. But please be quiet. Kinjo, I'm sorry, but can you try to be quiet? Yes! Get him! I love her. Ah, uh, third best girl. Kurokawa. You get his ass. <laughs> the reason I did this murder is not very relevant to your motives. So we have guessed, but I'll talk about that later. Nori was always in the infirmary, so she was very easy to target. This probably happened during Tyra's uproar, so most of you were in the dormitory side. I took that gap and kidnapped Nori from the infirmary, moved to the altar room on the third floor, and tried to stab Nori with the plaster weapon. However, that's when he came and threw me away. The one and only Yamaguchi, who thought I was in the dormitory side with you guys. Uh, Inori? And you? Uihara, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop! <sighs> Why is Uihara doing this? This is not the time for that. I have to take Inori and run away. Zoom in. D damn it, why is Inori unconscious? Oh no. Before that, I have to get away from Uihara. I, I have to go check where everyone is. Oh, the red eyes. <sighs> I didn't want to do this, but you forced me. 
Can't help it, Yamaguchi. I'm sorry. I didn't hold a grudge nor hatred to both of you. Forgive me. Keep. Keep Inori alive. No, thank you. It has already become irreversible. I'm sorry. I... Inori... I really loved you. That guy was a wonderful person. How many people can run without having a single thought about their own lives to instead save others? And Yamaguchi died because he witnessed it and you were forced to kill him? Yes. Fortunately, Nori should have been the one to be cut to death with the plaster weapon. In the art room. However, because Yamaguchi intervened, I changed the plan in a rush. Now that I hear this, the front and back are starting to fit better. It was especially strange because of Inori Kanata's white coat wiping the blood. And the art room. That couldn't be helped, right? When you killed Kaku Yamaguchi, Kanata and Nori, the person he was holding, had his blood splashed on her. Well, it's true. Come to think of it, when Uihara said that he had a head injury, the wound was real. That was not acting, but being pushed by Yamaguchi. Say it's the story. Anyway, y'all are a serial killer who killed two people. That remains the same no matter what you say to anyone. But why did Uihara can attempt to murder? I can't even imagine. It's hard to explain. How should I say this? Wait, before that, can I ask something? You, when Tyra's commotion happened, you said you kidnapped Inori. If, if Tyra didn't have a commotion, what would you have done? I mean, you wouldn't have known that. It would have been difficult to schedule the kidnapping. Why are you asking for so suddenly, Kurokawa? What are you trying to say? In other words, this is what the woman said. How did you know that Tyra's uproar would happen? Oh, he knew. Think about it. If you had decided to kill, you would have a plan and execute it in advance. How could they calculate the timing to kidnapping Kanata and Nori without knowing that? Everyone was gathered in the dormitory because of Tyra's bustle. Well, I'm not sure what Tyra's situation was in the first place. Oh, <sighs> so after all it was, Kurokawa. You seem to have the power to pick words. By its very own core. It's natural to think like Kurokawa. It would be strange to hear that. The plan looks as if it knew in advance that Tyra would go and make a ruckus. The answer to this is simple. It's because I knew in advance. Huh? How? Are you a psychotherapist? Do you know Tyra's mental state and predicted the future? I don't think he's talking about that. Speak. I'll listen to this. It's not that big of a mystery. Someone just informed me. Tyra's going to make a fuss soon. There will be an empty time frame for you. Not anyone can tell you that. You, don't tell me. There's one more thing I have to apologize for doing to you guys. In particular you, Maida, I should apologize more than the others. Huh? I... am... Yeah, it's very... Uh, it was a very obvious story that the leader from darkness gave Kinji horror and intimidation and threats from the shadows and led him to that chance to kill a couple of times. What? What did you just say? Oh, don't blame me. Why are you suddenly interrupting? Oh, did you hear me correctly? Then, can I say it one more time? Yeah, it was a very obvious story that the leader from the darkness gave Kinji Uehara intimidation and threats from the shadows and left. I led him to the chance to kill a couple of times. Uh, Uehara can? The traitor. Anyways, so that's the end of the story, so we're done chatting. If you guys continue on and on, like this, you'll be dragging it again while doing reminisce scenes or whatever. Wait, you're the traitor, but you got blackmailed. What are you talking about? Even if I'm the traitor, I don't know much. I don't know who the blaster mind is, and why the mastermind is doing this to us. However, when we first came here, one of them approached me and woke me before you guys. They were holding our church's children hostage. They said they'll give me information and will release them if I do what I am told to do. What in the heavens? Wait a minute. Cathedral children? Calm down. Speak slowly. The cathedral where I belong to, or the rather, there's a facility that takes care of children who have nowhere to go. That is entirely in the hands of Monokuma. 
So I was threatened under that pretext. You. Did you really fall for that kind of crap? It's all a bluff from that bear. That was not a bluff. He showed me the video and I was shown having a conversation with the children myself. What did they ask? What were you instructed to do? Basically, I had a surveillance camera, so I was filming everything that happened. In every blind spot and sent it to the mastermind. More importantly, if killing were happening between students entering in a stalemate, I would have to commit to the murder myself. If I don't comply with this, they said he would murder the children instantly. I didn't have a choice. I'm gonna cry. That's so sad. So, did he commit the murder because there was a deadlock after I may hot now? I have some motive, so this time I'm out of it was useless to anyone. If you look at it that way, you may not be able to see anything. But Monokuma said that. What Monokuma in the time he said is the time so you were instructed to move. It's the time when the announcement of the motive came. In the completely soundproof private room. Showed me the children. If you kill this time, your children will be free. If you don't get caught, you can get out from the school. A fully soundproof room. No wonder this motto was purely to deliver the orders to Kinji Uihara. You are so using the lives of children to threaten Uihara kun? Well, that's not fair, then I'll just make it easy for you. This is not blackmail, I just gave you a choice. If Uihara kun didn't want to kill, he could have refused. You don't mess with me, you said moments ago that there were threats. Well, you know, that was. It's a narrative thing, don't think too deeply. Last time was so rotten because I couldn't let those children die. You guys, I really have no face to show you. Of course, I understand to some extent that this was forced upon you, but you would still have to get your hands bloody. Was it that necessary to kill? Do you think these kids want you to be a bloody murderer? Sarugi, Sarugi, this contradicts your own free time events. You literally killed people to save a bunch of other people from terrorists. This is the exact same thing. He had to kill someone to save a bunch of children. It was for the greater good. Like, you were such a hypocrite. You're pissing me off. Just like kids don't want me to be a killer, I don't want kids to lose their lives. There's only one way. It's enough with just me to fall into hell. You don't want kids to lose their lives. Then, are you saying when you kill someone, you didn't know, like, Inori and Yamaguchi, they will lose their lives as well? Inori and Yamaguchi also have friends, family, and you Hey, there's some people you didn't want them to die. You don't even know all the details, and you're so worried about the children, right? Strange, Kinjo. My logic shouldn't be any different from yours, but you're getting heated, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I just said! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your logic for your killer isn't the same as mine. What are you talking about? Discard prime numbers for the majority. Isn't that what you said? I sacrificed the lives of 15 people and took the precedence over the lives of... 100 cathedral children. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm allowed to commit murder, but can Jackie put Mekuru Tomori me in danger, the one who went saying the exact same thing? Wouldn't it be necessary to reconsider your stance at least once, Kinjo? And I know too well that I'm an ugly being. It won't be enough to go to the low inside, but it's enough to suffer to hell and die. But it's fine. Although I will not be able to meet those kids because I won't be able to live, I was able to save their lives with my sacrifice. Monokuma, you kept your promise. Of course! Even though Mihara's crime was revealed on the verge of being executed, he still murdered as I ordered him to. That's the moment you killed Yamaguchi and the children have already been released. Children. They are safe, right? Oh, are you curious? So do you want to see the proof then? Could you please? Oh no, are they gonna be dead? As the court is darkened, there's a lot of noise on the screen that appears from somewhere. What it was shown was winter in the dark street less than five to four, four to five years old. Mostly looking like elementary school students. It was the bodies of many children. Some parts have already been corrupted, deformed, and transformed. There were kids whose bones began to appear, a child that's body had a broken shape that it was unknown to me. Only their small bodies were telling me that they were kids. Oh my god, that's so... 
I'm gonna cry, that's horrible. To the person who commented, get ready for despair. Oh, I wasn't ready. Hey, did you play the wrong video? Those clothes. Kana? The, that's Haruki. That hat was from Mitsuki. Uyara? Monokuma. How did this happen? You... You... Promised. I well, promised? Did I keep it? I definitely promised to release the kids. I never told you that I would let them be. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is so sad. Oh, we are, wake up. Scumbag! Y you, this is inhuman. How could you do this? Because I'm not human, but a bear. Henry Haruko, don't be so sad. It's been a while since you've been dead anyway. Soon you'll meet them. Meet them? Oh. Yeah, should we start soon? Oh, that was all in vain. Execution time! I'll make you follow your kids, so be patient. You know, this game is doing a really good job at making their killers sympathetic. Usually the chapter 3 one's like the least sympathetic case, you know, like... Celeste, it was literally, she's just being greedy, for example. Um, Keo just wanted to kill people, because he could. But this one, it's like... This one has hurt me more than the other two. Maybe because I like him a lot. But... This is horrible. This is, this is really bad. Like, I'm actually gonna... I might cry. This is really sad. I, I do think this game is actually shaping up to be better written than that real games, which is kind of cool. We'll make you follow your kids, so be patient. Like, it is really driving the despair in. Wow. Wait a minute, this is this is too much. Sorry, but I don't have much time either. I've got a busy schedule here. Well, then let's get started. I've prepared a very special punishment. We can do a heart, the ultimate priest. Oh, let's get on with lots of energy. It's punishment time. I feel so bad for him. Where are we, Hunter? Oh, I don't even want to watch this. But he is Jesus. This is how Jesus died. It's the Stations of the Cross. They're gonna freaking crucify him? Oh my god. Look at his face, he just doesn't care anymore. Ugh. Crucifixion though, it's kind of a long execution process. Like, how are they gonna speed it up? Cause I don't think they've got a few days for him to just sit there. Ah! Oh my god, it's Pontius Pilate. <laughs> okay, now he's going to space. This is just me, Kong. He's literally going to space. Okay. He doesn't even care. Oh. <gasps> Not the gravestone. He was already dead, I mean. He was dead when he hit the ground, so. Oh, I'm so sad, I loved him. You were such a good priest. Adios, amen. Uh, this is unfair. This is, it's really too much. Uihara was killed by Higa and Hatsuno, horribly executed. But Uihara didn't stay sane until the end. He couldn't protect the children because he was tricked by Monokuma. In the end, he killed Inori and Namaguchi for nothing. 
With all the devastating facts, Uihara's spirit was broken, executed, thinking and recalling until the last minute. Oh, cool, amazing, where are you going? This thing on Monokuma? I won't be satisfied until I beat that thing. If you do that, you'll just die a live. Why don't you stay still? Oh, oh, that's right. If you're angry with me, you can't help it. Yes, it's you guys who did this, and I'm just following the rules. It's not a bad thing. You think you're so smart, Monokuma. Huh? I never intended to sympathize with a killer, but this time it seems a little different. You always say, I, as the judge, should not be participating in the trial. In this case, you influence the class itself, the case itself, let alone the trial. According to Kenji Uihara, they were told that Tyrone would cause a commotion soon. Using that framework, Kenji Uihara was able to carry out the crime with ease. This is not a motivation level or anything like that. It's enough to call you an accomplice. Was it really? So what are you trying to say? What am I saying? That's what this side wants to say. What the hell do you want to do to us? If the purpose was to kill us, it would have been possible to annihilate all of us already. If that's not the case, it's also strange that they tried to kill us by buying a meta, like in the case of Kenji Uihara. There's no sense of purpose in your actions. What the hell are you after? While making us do all this? <laughs> Kenjo Kun, you idiot! Who in the world would a mastermind tell you its purpose, saying, Yes, this is it. Well, even if I wanted to tell you, it's not worth telling you guys. What do you mean? No big deal, just that I... Huh. Huh. Hate. You. Uh, what? Monokuma, hey. Monokuma used to speak and act as usual, suddenly stopped moving. As if it was a ridiculous act, he stiffened on the stop. As if time had stopped. What happened? It suddenly freezed up. That's great. Let's just hit it in this one time. Please calm down. Guys, let's go. Uh, where are we going? Why so suddenly we caught that down? There's no time. I'll explain it as we go. The, probably the secret room, right? With the, with the guns. So where are we heading? To the warehouse. Mikaku kind of reminds me of Cure Gary, actually. Uh, there are secret stairs in the warehouse? But well, we can't go down there anyway, right? Do you want to get honeycombed by that gun? What? Hey! Oh, Mikaku died! Whoa. Korean. She seems okay, though. What happened? The machine gun doesn't react at all. Uh, I'm not sure, but I guess that means Monokuma was lying. Why don't we do the chores later and go in already? I didn't think this was a lie. The machine gun is running properly. Well, it is not attacking us, right? Hey, a cult girl, you said if you were going to explain as we go, what the hell is all this? I noticed for a while before the class trial started, but I only noticed it for a second. Now I can say for certain, Monokuma had a power outage. Power outage? Well, Monokuma was shutting down. All of the school's facilities stopped operating. That's why there's no problem with this machine gun here. Or like entering the bathroom of the opposite sex and other things. That sounds like- I'm gonna punch you, Haru. I'm gonna punch you. Paradise? No. Not it, dude. Yeah, yeah, please ignore the pervert here and continue explaining. Thank you, Satsuki, best girl. I've been investigating the secret stairs since I discovered it. I checked my throwing a barrel, but the machine gun reacted and responded. Well, so it's safe because Monokuma is stuck now. But what happens when Monokuma suddenly starts running? We all together. We honeycomb. Ooh! However, this crisis is an opportunity. We can finally check what's down here. That's fine and all, but how the hell did you know all that? You know the structure, but more than that, do you know how Monokuma operates? What now? You've been so good at talking and acting thus far. Oh, uh, we've experienced that already. When will the staircase end? How far are we going down? Thank you.
Here it is. It was a dead end rather than a way out. I thought the exit wouldn't come up so easily. Apart from that, this room seems quite interesting. A prison in such deep underground, is that it? Wow, you came, you came. Oh. Oh, warning, well done. On the camera. Let me move. Well, maybe I just pretended to stop. What, what the heck? that way. What are you talking about? Did I tell you there's a terrifying creature trapped under the staircase? I just disposed of it a while ago. So if it weren't for me, you guys would have been in a terrible situation at this point. Dispose of it. There's no way. How? Well, I thought you guys would come here sooner or later, so I transferred it. This is not the only prison here. I don't know what you're talking about, but in the end, you're saying that there isn't an escape route here? It was great! Woohoo, you guys really did just come down here hoping for a way out. Sorry, but there's no such thing. You guys are nuts if you think there's a way out. There's no other way other than to kill, so how about you give up on that idea? Ha 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 ha! I hate this. I hate this. I don't like to watch killing each other anymore. I want to leave. Let me out of here. Oh, please. Someone save me. That's it. Become even more desperate. <laughs> He had no choice but to be helplessly beaten by Monokuma. Among the people we had, too, in an execution, there was no choice but to be on the palm of Monokuma. And we didn't know yet. But the despair was just getting started. Okay, um, that, that was hard. That was really hard. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I was fully expecting really hard to become very unsympathetic and just be like, oh, I'm a priest that kills people, haha, <laughs> but then it was that. My heart just like, ow, not, not cool. But yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of chapter three. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I am stopping it here. Obviously this is like the stopping point. Um, I do appreciate it. Go ahead, like, comment, you know, subscribe if you haven't. It does support the channel and it supports me. And I will see you in the next episode when we start chapter four and I'm hopefully like way less depressed because I just need to go sit in a room by myself and cry now because that was really hard for me. All right. Take care, guys. Later. Later.